Hey everyone, Dominic here from Loon Outdoors. Today I'm going to show you how to tie one of my favorite winter steelhead patterns. Alright, so in the vise today we have an Aquaflies round eye shank, uh, 33 millimeter. Uh, but any stout hook, you know, any streamer hook will work for this. Uh, you'll just want to take a pair of wire cutters and cut that shank right at the bend of the hook. Uh, just leaving you with a nice straight shank. I've also got a hot orange bead on there, but feel free to use any size or any color that you'd like to. And for our hook, uh, today we're using a size 4 Gamagatsu octopus, and that's going to be lashed onto some intruder trailer wire. Uh, this is actually blue trailer wire, but go ahead and use black or whatever color you're, you know, you'd like to use. So we're going to go ahead and fish that intruder wire through the eye of the hook. Once you've got that, you want to go up and over the bend. And then pull that tight to the eye of the hook. And for those unfamiliar with this style of fly, uh, this is going to allow you to change that hook out, you know, while you're on the river, if you snag up into some rocks or if you're lucky enough to get a few fish on one of these. Uh, it's not worth throwing a dull hook you know, when they're so inexpensive, when we're chasing these winter fish that are really, really rare to come by on the, on the swing. So make sure you've got that nice and tight. Then we're going to lay our thread down on the shank. Uh, today I'm just using some black Vivas thread, but any thread color will work because all of this thread is going to be covered up by material. So lay a nice thread base. I want to make sure that shank is entirely covered with thread because we're going to be using some UV fly finish to secure the trailer wire to that thread. Next you want to take that trailer wire and hook with the hook facing the opposite direction of that um, hook eye, so essentially facing up. Fish the wire under the bead, and then secure that onto the hook shank. And for the length of the wire, um, I like to leave just enough room to be able to take that hook off and thread a new one on on the river. You don't want to go too small with that gap because it'll be tough to get a hook on and off. You also don't want to go super long unless you want this to be a much bigger fly. So lay some nice wraps onto there. You want to make sure this is really secure with tight wraps because there is nothing worse than having that intruder wire pull on a nice fish. Take some UV fly finish and thin or flow will work. I'm not trying to build a body here. Essentially using this as glue. Just lay a nice even coating of that. Go ahead and bake that in. Spin it around. Give it a nice good bake. Make make sure it's you know tack free. Go ahead and take your thread and work it towards the rear of the hook. And we're going to take some of this hairline ice dub minnow back 
shimmer fringe but feel free to use kind of any flashy material you could use crystal flash or small flash of boo and we want those to extend just past the the hook give it some nice tight wraps trim it off nice and clean you don't have to go too crazy here because this is all going to be covered up with rabbit strip here in a minute and then take some cross cut rabbit strip in whatever color you'd like today I'm using baby blue I've used all kinds of colors though and the technique here can be applied to other flies and it's a really cool technique uh, my buddy Aaron Feely taught me a few years ago. You essentially want to take a, a dubbing loop. We're going to lay that rabbit strip into the dubbing loop so that the hide is right up against the thread there. And very gently we're going to cut the hide off of the rabbit while leaving those fibers in our dubbing loop. You can kind of tap them in there once you've got that hide removed. With this part you just got to be very delicate and spin that dubbing loop to secure all of that rabbit. And essentially what we're doing here is removing the heaviest part of that rabbit strip you know that hide is like leather and when it gets wet it gets really bulky and harder to cast and you'll see when using this technique that there's just not really a need for it when you're using the cross-cut rabbit strip for the body of the fly so make sure that dubbing loop is tight all the way to the top start spinning it on the shank and while you're spinning this, continue to work that rabbit towards the back of the hook. We're going to tie that off. Cut that loop go back and pull that rabbit towards the rear and clean it up next we're going to take some of this bright purple crosscut rabbit strip but again you know whatever color you'd like to use here works tie in a second dubbing loop Alright, so go ahead and feed the rabbit strip into there. And it's very tricky, uh, but with some practice and tying a few of these up, you'll kind of get a feel for getting that in there. So make sure all the fibers are on one side of the thread. You've got your hide on the other. And then very delicately trim that the hide off kind of even it up and give her a spin tight all the way to the top that's not my best work there but we're gonna be doing a couple of successions of this so as long as we make it up to the eye of the hook we're gonna be good
And this rabbit strip will certainly find its way all over your tying desk when you're using this technique. So we're going to tie in a second round of this purple. Go with a little longer strip this time. I'll lay this rabbit into our dubbing loop. With some nice long scissors, give it a nice gentle cut. Don't worry too much if you lose some of that, those rabbit fibers. You can kind of gently push those back into the loop. Get it all nice and evened up. And give it a spin. That should get us fairly close to the head of that fly. Go ahead and tie it off. All right, so we're gonna do one more round of this purple rabbit to bring us right up to the head. So tie in one more dubbing loop. Let's go ahead and feed that rabbit into there. Trim that hide off. Twist it up to secure it. Lost a little bit there, that's fine. Make sure all that rabbit's secure. Give our final wraps right up to the head of the fly. Tie off that dubbing loop. Pull that rabbit back and clean it up. And that's gonna do it for this fly. Just an easy to tie, kind of medium sized winter steelhead fly. That when you use this technique will stay fairly light but with enough profile and movement to entice one of those winter fish. Let's go ahead and change up the color on this, tie a few up, and good luck out there this winter. Thanks for watching.